Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to have a closer look at how clothing works inside DAS Studio, where to find adjustment morphs, and what to do if clothing doesn't fit. How can we make it fit? There's so many ways that we're going to discuss in this part of the series, uh, not so much this episode, but later on in this part of this episode, of things that you can do to make that right, because that's something that you'll spend a lot of time doing inside DAS Studio. So in an ideal world, we load the figure, then we load the clothing, and we dial up a pose, and everything works just fine. Oftentimes, though, that's not the case. So we'll find that the clothing doesn't work properly. Either we need to adjust a style, like, you know, make the arms shorter, make them longer, something like that, open a collar, put a collar up, that sort of thing, open a shirt, that sort of thing. But there's also things that we need to adjust for that to not look awkward and you know if things have gone awry like the clothing intersecting with the figure that can't really happen in real life like my shirt can't my body can't poke through my shirt uh, and in the 3d world we find that sometimes happens and there's various things that we can do with that and in this chapter i thought we we're going to discuss where to look in regular clothing to make that work Going forward later on, we'll also see how to adjust clothing with additional techniques, both inside DAS Studio as well as outside of DAS Studio with external tools like ZBrush and Hexagon. Let's take a look at this character here. This is a Genesis 8 figure, the stylized 2021 character by 3D Universe. And I've added a DeForce suit collar dress here, and that fits my figure just fine. Now, you may have seen this DeForce description on many clothing items. That's actually a clothing simulation that we're going to speak about later. And this dress has it, so I'll just use this as an example in case your clothing doesn't have DeForce, how to deal with it. But if something were to go wrong with this particular dress, I could just use DeForce usually to fix it. But it's a whole nother chapter. Let's go and find a pose for our character just so that we can see what might be happening here. I might go and use these fresh beauty poses here. I'll go in there and pick myself one, perhaps this one. That might be a good example. So this is kind of an extremish pose. So the character, if it's something like a regular standing pose like this, often we find there's not much that we need to fix. Things will just work because that studio is quite clever and will try to load the same pose we have on this on the character also on the clothing. So under the hood, conforming clothing, which is what this is, has a skeleton that matches the one inside the Genesis figure. So that means if we have a shoulder that is bent like this, then and the same shoulder joint is inside the dress and it will also be bent just like her shoulder is, which is why it fits. On top of that, there's this thing called the smoothing modifier that most clothing items employ. And that is actually a collision detection inside that studio that will tell the smoothing modifier, hey, we have a figure here, please collide with that. You're the clothing, you mustn't go inside the figure, you must always be on the outside. And the smoothing modifier basically calculates that to make sure the clothing stays on the outside. For a while there, that was all we had in Das Studio, and that leads to clothing that often looks like it kind of hugs the body, and that often looks unnatural. Often it looks great on tight-fitting clothing like t-shirts and trousers, but the clothing doesn't really fall as naturally as it potentially could be, especially on custom characters. And this is what DeForce really alleviates. But we'll talk about DeForce later. Right now, if I have a look at a more extreme pose, like which one did we have in this one here? And I find, just in case my clothing doesn't work properly, say on the back here, then I can go and drill down in my scene tab here and find my item of clothing. So this is the whole character here. And then in here we have the eyelashes and we have the hair and we have this one here, which is the MK suit collar dress. The description is going to be different for your clothing item. You might have shoes, you might have trousers, you might have a shirt, you might have something else. So select the item of clothing that needs adjusting, then head over to the parameters tab. And then under the actor tab here, if you open that up, you'll see that there's a lot of options usually. In this case, we have adjustment. Sometimes they're split out into different things. And the adjustment part on this particular item is huge. Some clothing creators have a color coding system like this one here. There's something uh, purple here and there's also something pink down here. And that usually denotes this is for either a different area or this is some other organizational visual aid for us. So let's have a look here. Let's start at the very top. And this is called Adjust Armpits. So you really have to look into this list and see what's going on. So if I go and 
left click and drag on that slider, I can see what's happening on my dress. Maybe this area here is being made a little bit wider. So if I had a pose in which that kind of isn't working well, or if I wanted to adjust that, there's often morph sliders that will make it possible for us to adjust these things. Alt clicking on a slider will reset that. There's another one here for mid back. Let's have a look uh, back. That's probably around here. If I go and left click and drag that, then we can see that my clothing is trying to move something here and I can adjust it so that it fits my pose and my character in situ. So as I said, uh, luckily, luck would have it, this works quite well. If I wanted to make that a little bit tighter, I can. Usually they can go into both directions. But if after I dial in my pose and I can see something like like this, then I know, hey, something isn't right. And this is actually also a good example here. If I go and dial this in, you can see that now my skin is poking through. But if I leave my mouse alone, if I, if I um, take my finger off the mouse button, you can see that after a second, Das Studio is trying to undo that. And this is that magic mesh smoothing modifier that is obviously applied on this clothing, which is, which is very nice. And it'll minimize the issue that I had here, right? This was this is it starting to become problematic if I, by at 86%. If I leave it like this now, the smoothing modifier can actually get rid of this poke through completely, which is really, really good. But as you've seen when we were building the character portrait at the end of the first part, that wasn't applied on the clothing. So, you know, it's one of those things. Sometimes it's not applied. In this case, it is applied and it's actually very helpful. Just as a refresher here, that would have been under general and then here is mesh smoothing. And these are the parameters that we've adjusted. This is the thing that we've actually added there to the clothing that didn't have it. And then we adjusted these parameters. So if I go back to my adjustments here and I'll use this mid back as another example, I go and literally crank that down as far as until we're left with some poke through here. Remember, we can go to mesh smoothing if this was an issue and then fix our poke through either with increasing the smoothing iterations or the collision iterations. So if I put smoothing iterations up from two to five, then the calculation happens again and there's no more poke through, which is kind of neat. But hey, this is a nice example, like the counter example of what we had earlier there. Very nice. I'll go back to the adjustments and undo what I've just done there and just show you another few things that are happening in this massive long list. So here's adjust side, adjust skirt back. So that would do that would do something on the skirt down here. So if you needed to make that a bit wider, you can. And this is especially useful either after you've dialed in a pose or also after or even before you apply defaults. So just something to keep in mind there. Skirt bottom widen, this is kind of nice. So sometimes there's not just adjustment morphs, there's also style morphs. So like uh, something that this dress doesn't have, but something that a dress could potentially have is to make it longer or shorter. If you have a skirt and there is an option to literally make you change the style of the item of clothing, that can happen. Further down here, just throat fixer. That's interesting. So you can just go and see what that does. And it is with every item of clothing, you really have to play around with these. You have to, once you get a new item of clothing, uh, which you want to use, you have to look into what the adjustment opportunities are. And the really good ones, they have a lot of them. Oh, I see. This is what the throat will fix then. This is interesting. And also the other way. So if you find that the dress isn't fitting very well here on the back, if you think, yeah, that's a little bit wide, you can literally go and go in and make that a bit smaller so that it fits the, the figure in that particular situation better. Hours of fun, but also hours of work. So this is something you shouldn't underestimate. If you have new clothing, take some time aside and just have a look what it has to offer. One thing that you may come across in various iterations here is this thing that they've labeled in a different color here, just expand all. And that's quite nice. So this is, if you left click and drag that, then the whole dress gets seemingly bigger or smaller. And this is kind of nice if you have something like a figure that's a bit bigger than what the dress was intended for, then you can just go and make this fit a little bit looser. So now it doesn't look like it fits great anymore, but it also, it's a bit of a different style. At the moment we would run deforce later. All these things here on the legs and stuff, this is all going to essentially fall down and use collision detection with the figure to make the whole cloth fall like if it's real life cloth. And that's quite exciting. And expand all is a good tip that you can apply if your conformed deforce clothing isn't quite working out. Make it a bit bigger and then use deforce. And then it's as, it's as if she's wearing a dress that's a little bit too big. 
DeForce is a whole other topic that we're going to speak about in the next episode in more detail. 